What is going on, gents? It's RPM here, coming at you with another episode of Hockey Mask Time. Now, before I get started, let us bow our heads and recite the HMT motto, shall we? A man will only take so much disrespect. And it's only a matter of time before he finally decides today's the day. Gentlemen, the slaughter continues. And there has definitely been an uptick since the beginning of the year. Oh yeah, gentlemen, like I said, stand by to stand by because this well will never run dry. Now, this article was published on the 12th of January. Detroit rapper, Super MC, charged with offlining wife in Westland. Boy, I hope this guy never talks about this because as we know, a lot of rappers have been catching Rico cases by their own lyrics. Now, let me just go ahead and say this right here. Woo! Detroit rapper Super MC is facing charges after authorities say he stabbed his wife to deletion over the weekend. Super MC, whose real name is Jimmy Brown, is accused of stabbing Kelly Mays 17 times inside of a Western apartment in the 36,000 block of McKinney Drive on Sunday. The 46-year-old was arraigned Wednesday on a first-degree termination charge and denied bond. Wait a minute. 46 years old, a rapper? Oh my goodness. Wow. Just wow. Kelly and Brown were separated at the beginning of the year, but kept in touch. Kelly's daughter, Celeste Mays, found her mother's carcass when she went to the apartment and felt like something was off. That's when she found her mother's deceased body. Quote, unquote, I touched her foot and it was cold, she said. Quote, unquote, I have nightmares about it. So every time I fall asleep, I see it. Celeste said she used to look up to Brown and saw him as a father. Quote, unquote, I hate him now. He is no father of mine, she said. Quote, unquote, now I got a fin for my sister and she's 14 and it's a lot of responsibility. So what do we have here, gentlemen? The classic step slash simp daddy scenario. Fellas, do not be a step daddy, especially in 2024 moving forward. Her kids are not, not, not in OT, not your fucking problem. However, we all know single mothers, they're not looking for relationships. They're looking for help. Brown turned himself into Westland police within hours of the termination. Quote, unquote, it's devastating. You know, everybody loved her, said Ralph Mays, Kelly's father. Quote, unquote, I believe he might even loved her, but I don't know. He seemed like he did, but I don't know why people do such horrific things like that. Oh, believe you me, there was something going on in the background. Trust and believe. The couple had been together 
for 13 years with violation being a factor in their relationship. Celeste and her sister begged the two to leave each other time after time. Quote, unquote, even when they did fight in front of us, he would walk away. Pin it. The one time we're not there, he took her life like it was nothing Celeste said. Well, well, well. There are definitely some things that I have to point out. Why? Because the math is not mathing. It truly is not. However, I'm going to reiterate this one simple point for you ladies. No matter where you are, no matter how big and bad you think you are, when you finally drive a man beyond his limit, beyond his line, beyond his level of restraint, guess what? No one is going to be there when he finally decides to take matters into his own damn hands. Nope. It's just going to be you, him, and you're going to be at the mercy of his complete and total unbridled rage. Anyway, let's get to that scorecard, shall we? For location, went down in their apartment. Gotta give it a 10. Method of execution, obviously the hot butter knife of doom. Gonna give that a 20. Psychological impact. I'm gonna give this a 30 because of course the daughter had to find the rotting carcass of her own mother. So I gotta give that a 30. And for the brutality factor, 17 times. Oh, who did this woman decide she wanna piss off? That's right, Shivy McStabbington III, and he went to work. So I'm going to give the brutality factor of 30 as well. So Jimmy, the Butcher Brown, gets a score of 90. Now, let's go back to a couple of things that I noticed. First and foremost, they said that they were in a 13-year relationship. Okay. Who were the children by? Hmm. Like I said, gentlemen, in my humble opinion, this was definitely a stepdaddy scenario. He walked away when they did fight, which meant, guess what? She was a participant as well. Yeah. The whole narrative of her being a quote unquote domestic violation survivor in the past, blah, 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 blah. I truly could give two chocolate covered shits about women when they say, oh, I was in a toxic relationship, blah, 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 blah. No, 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 no. This woman wanted to be with this man. Why? In my humble opinion, just my opinion, he was a rapper. She thought probably in the back of her mind that he was going to pop one day and go to the big leagues. Uh, Yeah, at 46. Yeah, no, 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 no. However, something else, more than likely, she liked the idea that he was a rapper. So she could probably brag to all of her strag friends. Oh yeah, I'm dating rapper Super MC. Blah, 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 blah. Once again, the mental capacity of a lot of women is absolutely childlike at best. Now, with all of the resources that are afforded to women, any woman who says she's been in a quote-unquote abusive relationship, 
You got to definitely side eye that. Why didn't you leave? Well, because I thought he would change. Mm -mm, mm -mm. The first sign of violence, the first violent act on either side, I'm calling this right down the damn middle. You need to leave. You have to leave. Men are stuck because we have no resources. And every time men actually try to talk about it and try to form resources, the first thing that they do is guilt us by saying, oh, well, women go through blah, 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 blah. Fuck what they got to say. Women got far too many resources that will allow them to walk away from a toxic relationship. Yet they choose not to. That, gentlemen, is the key fucking difference as to why I have zero sympathy for any woman who ends up in a quote unquote toxic relationship that she knows that she could walk away from. Gentlemen, if you end up in a toxic relationship, you know you have to walk away. There will be nobody there to help you. You have to help yourself. And how do you help yourself? You pack your shit, walk out that damn door. Women, on the other hand, they have far too many resources, which once again is why I have zero sympathy for women like this. Zero. Because they can leave any time they want. Well, I've rambled on long enough. Read the article. Let me know what you guys think. What do you think was the motivation behind Mr. Brown deciding to put her to the blade? Literally. I have my own opinion. I want to hear about yours. Leave it in the comments section. And for you women out there who still in 2024 believe that the system it's going to protect you in your final hours. You need to understand this. And you truly, truly need to understand this crystally clear. The power you think the system will afford you when you decide to, you know, get mouthy, when you decide to argue with the man in your life, that is going out. Feminism and the Duluth model, that will go out right along with it. Because once a man has finally crossed his line, once he's finally gone over his limit and you've proven to be the bane of his existence at that time, guess what's going to happen? He's going to take matters into his own hands. This guy turned himself in. Why? Because in my humble opinion, after 13 years of this woman getting on his nerves, he finally snapped. He said, you know what? Fuck it. I'll put myself in the cage, but I'm going to put your ass in a pine box. And guess what? He followed through with it. It is what it is. That's all I got to say for this one. RPM, I am out. Murder on my mind, yeah. Losing all my hope, yeah. I'm going to do the crime, yeah. Fuck the red or blue, I'ma take the black pill. Yeah. Fuck the red or blue, I'ma take the black pill.